Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm going to show you an affordable alternative to catfish reels. Well, folks, if you watch any of my catfishing videos, you'll know that most of the fish that I catch are caught on bait casting reels, round reels. Uh, I've been using them since I got into chasing catfish. Uh, I used them striper fishing. I use them saltwater fishing. Uh, most of them are level wines, and uh, they've always been a very uh, just easy to use reel for the style of fishing that I do. Now, the reason I really went with bait casting reels was one, the ease of operation. Uh, the availability, uh, when I was first getting into chasing catfish, there were a lot of these reels available locally used. I could get them very affordable. Uh, we are surrounded by carp lakes in the area that I fish, and a lot of guys use these things. And you could get some really great reels, Abu Garcia reels, uh, for, you know, 30 or $40. So it was a very good affordable way to get into a lot of similar reels at a very good price. Now the one downside to using a bait casting reel is uh, they can be somewhat intimidating when it comes to casting them. Uh, everyone is afraid of the backlash, overrun, uh, bird nest, whatever you want to call it. When you go to throw that thing and the line comes off the spool and if you don't stop it in time, it just keeps on going and this makes a big mess and I understand how people are intimidated by it. No matter how many times you've casted one of these reels, sooner or later, you're going to booger one up. Now for a lot of people, uh, they would rather go with something else and that is why I have been doing some videos on spinning reels. Uh, spinning reels are a one, a more affordable reel generally speaking. And two, they're a lot easier to cast and uh, to deal with in that world, a lot less intimidating. So I've done some videos uh, featuring some spinning reels out on the boat. Now, one of the reels you've seen me using in some of the spinning reel videos where I'm chasing catfish is this one here. This is the uh, Viper X. It's from PC Fun. This one is a 4000 series. It's a very affordable reel. Um, I'll put you some links down in the description section where you can go check this reel out and buy one if you'd like to. Uh, but they're a very, very affordable reel. Um, the one thing that I uh, liked about it was just how smooth it was and the line capacity was really nice on it. It was plenty of line. I'm putting 30 pound line on this reel. That's a lot of line uh, on there. And I was concerned a little bit at first because uh, one of the things is that generally on a bait caster, you get more line. Put this on there and even doing the trolling and dragging uh, of, of baits like I do with the Santee rigs where I put out 100, 125, 150 feet of line behind the boat. Never had an issue uh, with running out of line with this reel. The one thing I wanted to do though, and I wanted on it, was a replaceable spool. The reason being the other reel I was using is one I use for salt water and it had braided line on it. And while braided line has some great purposes and I love it saltwater fishing, uh, my issue with the braided line was I didn't like to bite. Uh, I didn't like the way that I had the herky jerkiness to the rod when a fish hit it. Some people may like that, I don't. I like the sensitivity of braid for when I'm trying to feel fish and feel a bite. When I am drifting and dragging baits or anchored up in there on the bottom, I'm fishing for catfish, I don't need braid. I reached out to the folks at PC Fun and I said, hey, do you sell any of these spinning reels that have a replaceable spool? The reason being, it's great to have a reel like this that has mono on it, but say you're going after a different species and you're wanting to switch spools out and have braided line on it, maybe a lighter line. Maybe you're wanting to use this for you know a, a smaller species of fish. That's one of the cool things about spinning reels. You can swap these spools out and uh, not have to worry about stripping all the line off and putting new line on. So what they did was they sent me another reel and it's this one. It is the Carnivore. We'll take it out of the box here and take a look at it. It is a spinning reel. The cool thing is it comes with a spare spool, which is really cool. A lot of times you can order spare spools for reels. Sometimes they can be hard to come by. This one actually comes with one. Pull this reel out of the box. This one is a 4000 series, which is the exact same size or similar size to this one. Now, one of the things is with spinning reels, they've got a number series that kind of corresponds to their size, uh, just like they do with bait casting reels. Uh, the bad part is there's no real exact 
meaning to what that number is. Here's an example. This one, like I said, is the PC fund that they sent me that I've been using. It's a 4000 series. This is the exact same reel that is a 2000 series. You can see this one is much smaller, probably something I would use crappie fishing or chasing white perch, uh, chasing brim or bluegill. Uh, you can see the difference in the two reels. So it kind of gives you a little bit of reference for what you're looking for. Typically, uh, when it comes to catching catfish, I like something in the 4,000 to 5,000 range, somewhere in there. I've got some great big spinning reels over there that are like 8,000 series, 7,000. I think those are a little bit big and overkill for catching catfish. Something in this size range is perfect, easy to cast, it's a good weight, and it's affordable. One of the cool things about a spinning reel is that I can take this handle off and put it on this side, this little screw right here that comes off. You take that off and this handle, a lot of people don't know this, believe it or not. I'll show you how this works. You take that little screw out right there and you try not to drop it. Take that handle off like that and you can put it on this side. So depending on which side you crank with, um, you can swap sides with the handle. Can't do that on bait casters. Uh, one of the uh, interesting things is a lot of us with a bait caster will crank on one side and then with this, crank on the other side with a spinning reel. It's all muscle memory, it's kind of what you get used to. But uh, yeah, it's a neat little thing with a spinning reel which comes in handy. I know some of you lefties out there struggle to find a reel with a handle uh, or a left-handed you know, reel, so that's a good option to have. Again, very smooth reel, very nice. Uh, and again, you can swap the spools out on it. All you do to swap a spool out on a spinning reel is this part on the top here. You undo that. And again, make sure you don't go pulling on this stuff. Boom, you would take this reel, work it onto there. Find the little thread on there. Put your top back on there. Easy way to just drop that out. And poof, you got another spool on there and you're ready to go. I could have monofilament on this one, braid on the other. I could have 30 pound line on here, 12 pound on the, on the other one. It's a very good way to uh, get a lot of uh, multi-species use out of your fishing reels. Now again, this is a 4,000 series. They make these things in three to 6,000. So there's a, a wide range of size there. Most of these sizes are pretty close brand to brand. There's nothing exactly specific as to what that number means, but uh, it gives you some variation in size from something that you'd use for crappie fishing or maybe ice fishing all the way up to something that you could take down to the coast, saltwater fishing for some bigger species. Now this reel has a uh, five plus one bearing, a 5.1 to one gear ratio. 31 and a half inches of retrieve per turn of the handle, which is pretty dang good. Now, as far as how much line it holds, it holds 240 yards of 12 pound monofilament line. So you can kind of figure out from there how much line it's gonna hold based on whatever line that you're using. Max drag on this thing is 31 pounds. Guys, that's a lot of drag. That's more drag than you'll need for any catfish out there. And uh, that's one of the cool things about spinning tackle is they generally have a lot more drag than a conventional round reel does. And one of the cool things about this is that makes it somewhat comparable to a uh, bait casting reel. And one of the advantages of a bait casting reel is being able to feed out line. One of the things you can do on a bait casting reel is you can uh, push the uh, release button on it put the clicker on and you can feed out line to a fish. Uh, if you got a fish that is a chewer like a shark, that's a great thing. Some people fishing for catfish and other species like having a clicker. I think most people use it as an alarm clock when they're about to fall asleep, but a lot of people like the clickers. What this has, this little lever is a bait feeder. What it does is it allows you to pull this lever back and this spool will turn. You can adjust the tension on it how much you want to let off. If you listen, you can hear it turn. So basically, you would cast it out, would hit the bottom, knock it into gear, flip that lever back. It will now spool out line. Like I said, you can adjust this as tight as you want it. What's amazing is if you've got some fish that are very line sensitive, you can back this thing all the way off 
to where it will really take line out of there. Now all you do is, that's not your drag. Because what happens is you knock it into gear, pow, let me show you that again, it's out of gear, turn the handle, boom, it engages. This is locked down now. This is totally controlled by your drag. You can loosen your drag if you still want a lot of line coming off, but once you tighten this up and it's in gear, line is not coming off of there. So it is a great way to kind of get some of the benefits of a bait casting reel in a spinning reel uh, for you guys that are looking something to feed line out to a fish. Like I said, once that line's out, you flip that back, it'll feed line off of there as tight as you want it. Adjust it with that knob that controls your tension. And you've got a way to feed line to fish and it makes a little bit of noise. So probably at least get your head up. May not wake you up if you're sound asleep. But yeah, if you get a fish, knock it into gear by cranking it. Boom, and you're ready to fish. Now this reel, like I said, comes in a variety of sizes from three to 6,000 uh, in the sides in on it. This one right now to taping of this video is around 56 bucks, which is a very affordable reel uh, to get you into catching catfish. And this will catch pretty much anything out there that you're gonna run into on the water. And the fact that it comes with a spare spool it's a pretty good deal. Well, folks, hopefully that gives you a good alternative uh, to a bait casting reel and uh, something that's a little less intimidating than throwing a bait caster and having to deal with the backlash, the overrun and all that kind of stuff. These reels will catch fish. Uh, these fi uh, reels will put any catfish on the bank or in the boat that you'll ever encounter. So don't feel like you need something more expensive. These are great reels and uh, I think you really enjoy them. And uh, I hope they put some on the bank and in the boat for you. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.